Back here at District 9 Football League Media Day, we are now with the Union AC Valley Falcon Knights. Uh, gentlemen, uh, welcome. Could you introduce yourselves, please? Yeah, I'm head coach Brad Dittman. Uh, this is senior Mike Card, senior Landon Chalmers, senior Skyler Roxbury, and senior Bailey Christman. All right, guys, uh, just a couple of weeks away from the uh, start of fall camp. Uh, we looking forward to getting ready for a new season? All right, so we've gone through, you know, all your off-season workouts, the summer conditioning, all those kind of things. Uh, as it stands right now, just right before you start uh, camp, who's the one player on your roster that maybe people haven't really heard of, but by mid-October, everybody's going to be talking about? It? Solid question. Yeah. I think we have multiple guys. Yeah. I, I truly do. You know, we have, we have a bunch of skill position guys back. Um, it's pretty tough with this group and this team that we have right now to single one guy out mm -hmm. that you're going to hear a lot about. But um, I think you know these four guys sitting here, you're going to hear a lot about. But there's a bunch of guys that aren't here with us today that I think you're going to hear hear about them as well. So you know, I think we have a, a pretty talented roster, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we'll we'll. We'll see how that goes. You know, and you know, I mean, obviously, you guys had quite a bit of success a, a year ago. Um, how do you build on that and, and carry that into into this season to make it even better this go around? Well, I think for you know, coaching wise, they have to learn from some of the mistakes we made last year, and uh, you know, how, how can we be better in that in those tight ball games and. You know, what can we call differently and what details can we do different to get these guys in a better position to win? Um, you know, I think we're, we're working really hard on that. I think the experience from the tight games that we had last year are really going to help us going into this year. And uh, we're definitely going to focus on the details, the, you know, the turnovers that we had at critical times, the penalties we had at critical times, uh, the special teams miscues we had at times. You know, those are things we need to uh, really fine tune the details on and, and not make those mistakes. And we have to learn from them if we're going to, you know, compete for a championship this year. And from a player's perspective, you know, how, did that, how do you guys get driven to, to build off what you did last year and be even better this year? Definitely think coming off of after the championship. I know that we were all real angry about losing to it, and I think this year we're just going to go out and try to get back there and never hold back on in any game or anything like that and just work our butts off all season. Uh, so District 9 changed up the schedule a little bit this year. gives everybody, you know, some new faces to go along with some of those familiar rivals. Uh, what are you guys most looking forward to with this new schedule? I'd say proving we can play with any team we come against. Yeah, not that last year was a easy schedule by any means, right. um, you know, but moving it around to the regions this year, I mean, you got the teams like Kane we're going to be playing, uh, Ridgeway, we're actually playing Central Clarion this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's uh, more heavy hitters on our schedule, and there's by far no, no easy week. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, the competition, these guys are going to have to be on their game week in and week out. Uh, it's going to be a lot tougher road and, uh, you know, a lot more work to, to win at where we're at now. And how do you feel, you know, like you said, having really no off weeks this, this year, how does that help prepare you to, you know, try to make a postseason run? Well, I think, you know, the, the – better competition we can play now, you know, when we get to the playoffs, it's only going to make us better at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I think these tough games that I anticipate that we'll have throughout the season will only make us better, um, you know, as we progress to the end of the year and hopefully into the postseason. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and as players, what can you guys learn about yourselves, uh, you know, by having a kind of a grinding schedule like you guys are going to have this year? I think we can all agree that we're just going to have to work week in and week out to be successful because nothing's going to be handed to us. Uh, you know, and again, for you guys, what's the uh, what's the best part about playing for Coach Dittman?
Yeah. And coach, on the flip side, what's what's the best part for you about coaching this team? Uh, the best part about coaching this team is, uh, you know, we have a bunch of unselfish, smart kids uh, that'll do anything. They they believe in each other. They help each other out. You know, they not only make themselves better, but they make me better. Um, just a great, great group of kids. You know, with high character that you just love to be around, love to coach, and you want to see them succeed. Uh, and then finally, outside of staying healthy, what's going to be the biggest key to you guys having a successful season? I think from what I just talked about, you know, obviously we have to stay healthy, but we need to work on the details. I, th I think we have all the tools and, you know, we, we have the, the talent, but we need to work on the details. We need to work on the, the mental toughness of the not getting the penalties at the critical, critical times, not turning the ball over at critical times, not making, uh, you know, a bad play on special teams or getting a blocked punt at critical times. We need to work on those details to be successful. And, and guys, for you, what do you guys think as, as players? What's going to be the, the biggest key to you having a successful season? I definitely think we've got to stick together a little bit more as a team. A little bit last year, you know, we had like some just like going against each other, like what, what they're doing, saying you did this wrong, doing that wrong. I think this year we just need to stay as a team and be more of a family and play each game as a team as it's our last game and everything like that. All right, guys, uh, just a couple weeks away from camp. Thank you so much for stopping by, and uh, good luck this season. Thanks for having me.